Hey friends, this is Pastor Clayton, and this is going to be great reading God's Word with you today. Uh, if you haven't gotten already, grab your Bible and grab your journal and a pen. Uh, you're going to need that as we go along, and we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 17 today. If you need to pause the video and take some time to find that, go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm going to read uh, Proverbs uh, 17, and if you want to follow along in your own Bible or you want to read it uh, out loud with me or you just want to listen uh, to what God's Word says, that's totally fine. Um, I will tell you this, Proverbs 17 has a lot of Proverbs in it. And what a proverb is, is a short saying that contains some wisdom, a good idea. And uh, it covers a lot of different Proverbs. We're going to read, uh, oh, let's see here, about 10 different Proverbs. And they're all going to be about different things, which means if you're going to try to um, focus on something today, you might want to just pick one thing, one of the Proverbs that you say, huh, that was interesting to me. And just think about that one. Don't try to figure out all of them. Uh, if you want to spend time, you can. But if what you do is just grab onto one and say, I'm going to think about this one today. I'm going to journal about this one today. I'm going to talk with someone about this one today. That's all you need to do. So listen for the one proverb that you're going to grab onto and try and figure out and uh, then we'll, we'll journal about that. Proverbs 17, verses 1 through 10. Better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. A prudent servant will rule over a disgraceful son and will share the inheritance as one of the family. A crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. A wicked person listens to deceitful lips. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. Eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool. How much worse lying lips to a ruler. A bribe is seen as a charm by the one who gives it. They think that success will come at every turn. Whoever would foster love covers over an offense, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. A rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes a fool. Now, like I said, there are lots of things in there. There are 10 different Proverbs. And so you might want to look back over those and grab one and say, I'm going to think about this one and write some thoughts down about that. I'll tell you this, the one that I'm looking at is the one in verse 5, where it says, Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. I want to think about that. How the way we treat people who maybe have less money or people who've had something hard happen in their life, that the way we think about them is, is something that uh, reflects on uh, how we are thinking about God, that we want to treat people well uh, because that's how God feels about them. And so I'm going to think about that a little bit more as I'm journaling, but maybe you've got something different that you're noticing in this passage and maybe God's saying something new to you about it. So go ahead and take some time uh, to, to write some things down in your journal. All right, take whatever time you need to continue writing down your thoughts or your questions. Uh, and then maybe you want to talk with someone about what God told you today in his word. Maybe ask them what they think about it. Uh, that's a really fun thing to do when you're reading the book of Proverbs because it sparks different ideas uh, for different people around you. Well, when you're done, you can go ahead and check off that you read today's reading and then join us again tomorrow for the next reading.